reinforcements. Hey everybody, Cray Spartan here, back again after a nice long weekend, nice four-day weekend with the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, now I don't know how everybody else did, but I hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed some family, friends, and of course lots of turkey, lots of pie, lots of uh, whatever else that you had. Um, so I just hope you had a good holiday, and most importantly, had, took time to reflect on things to be thankful for because not everything in this life is guaranteed so taking that little extra time giving thanks uh, for the family for friends and and uh, for the Lord um, is awesome uh, and and it's a really good thing so hopefully everybody had a really good holiday but on to the subject at hand guys now recently 343 put out a video or put out a um, a update for Halo 5. Of course, there's the 4K update um, for those that do have the 4K uh, Xboxes and, of course, the TVs to match with it. Um, and, but overall, the the big thing I want to discuss is the update for the um, weapons tuning. Now, I'm not going to go into details on everything, but I have watched a couple other videos and listened to other people's things. Now, I am a little bit behind on a lot of people. But I truly did want to give this uh, game a good, thorough uh, testing um, to see my thoughts and not just take the initial assessment on it and just like run with however I feel it is. So I did put this uh, game through its paces quite a bit. And overall, weapons tuning, not too bad. There is a couple things I did want to discuss. Um, uh, things like the AR, which the AR to me, the update actually is, the AR feels um, a lot better uh, in my opinion. It's a little harder to get accuracy on it, especially at closer range because the reticle is a little smaller, um, a few other things, and it just, it, to me, it feels like a, a slightly better weapon. Now, it doesn't mean it's more powerful. It just feels like it's um, more along the lines of what I feel it should be. Um, it feels good to me. It feels good now the the big weapon I want to talk about and you're gonna see this here in this gameplay is I am constantly Picking up the light rifle Now the light rifle wasn't touched in this update So why am I picking up the light rifle all the time because light rifle to me is the weapon of choice anymore for pickups um, just bottom line, it is what I pick up all the time now, uh, if I can. Uh, the battle rifle to me is it feels uh, it feels clunky. It it does it feels more random. It it just does not have a good feel to it at all. So I don't even touch the battle rifle anymore. Uh, very rarely, unless I want to remind myself. As you see, I just did right there. It was a perfectly good battle rifle, and I just don't touch it. I, do, I It's just not worth picking up. And the reason I say that is because 9 times out of 10 in a battle rifle versus a, a uh, pistol. The the pistol you start off with, not the, not the Magna or the Gunfighter or anything else, the pistol you start off with is a superior weapon. It, it, it uh, has a shorter kill time, uh, for, especially for perfect kills. That it's like 1.3 seconds versus the 1.4 on the um, battle rifle. Um, it's more accurate. It has longer red reticle range. Now, if you don't know what red reticle range is, is when you get close enough to an appointment or to an opponent, your reticle turns red, and that means you have like the maximum um, assists. You have the maximum magnetism, maximum. Uh, aim assist, uh, etc. That means you are in the perfect range for that weapon. 
Now the battle rifle's range is shorter than the Magnum and it kills less. It kills in uh, longer time. So the battle rifle is just not a weapon I pick up anymore. It's just not worth picking up. But the light rifle on the other hand, it works well um, consistently up close and it has a second dual function as I'm getting a little cocky right there as you can see um, it does have the second dual function where the for the uh, rounds are a lot stronger which is really nice um, and the battle rifle just isn't just isn't there it just does not uh, it really just does not feel well or feel good at all I don't like it uh, period um, anymore I, I just it's not worth picking up now the DMR the DMR I don't pick up either because I don't play big team battle uh, very very little when I do um, so the DMR a lot of the times or is going to be in short range fights and unfortunately when you're playing 4v4 there's not a whole lot of long range fights uh, so the DMR just does not do well. It's almost as 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 trying to hit a shot with a sniper rifle. It's it's got like almost no aim assist at all up close. That's I mean that's okay I guess it does fit its function. But in the four v four maps, it's really not a good weapon to pick up in my opinion. Unless you do have some a few long sight ranges, it, it can be very useful in that type of. Uh, type of role but overall it's just not a good weapon to pick up in 4v4 so that's my thoughts on that um, so obviously I begin to pick up the light rifle as often as I can and I believe other people are because I'm having a hard time finding the light rifles anymore um, so if you are online and I would definitely practice as you see someone else is using the light rifle um, right there uh, it's it's just the better weapon to play or to pick up on the maps anymore. Um, it's a 4v4. I can say that in 4v4. Now, if you are in big team battle, the DMR would probably definitely be a good weapon to pick up. Um, but 4v4, not so much. Not so much. Now, one other uh, thing I am going to post on, down below. Uh, check it out is the feedback column and you can share your own feedback don't don't just take my word for it uh, to the 343 official feedback for this uh, weapons tuning update they say they are listening so by all means drop a drop a few notes be constructive tell them what uh, you think about these weapon tuning updates um, I, I've already done a little bit and basically said about what I just did right here um, the only other thing I added, <laughs> I know this is kind of sad, but the only other thing I added was I, I said um, they need to adjust Spartan Charge, period. Spartan Charge needs to be fixed um, outright. I, I Comparing it to the Ground Pound, and I compare that because the Ground Pound, in my opinion, I thought was going to be the OP thing um, in... In Halo 5 back in the beta but really turned out that the ground pound unless you get a direct hit or the uh, opponent you're dropping on is extremely weak you do not get the kill but a Spartan charge on the other hand is far too easy to get kills with that you, you ram them in the back you, you see them on the you don't even see them on the radar they're on your radar in less than less than a second now I've made a video on that too so there's like no time to react um, to a, a Spartan charge, especially from the back. But that's my thoughts, guys. Uh, please go ahead and share your thoughts online. Go ahead and uh, if there's anything I forgot, if there's anything you want to share, put them down in the comments down below. And don't forget to share it with 343. This is a crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.